Falota. You look like a clogged up recycler, Filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. Matna will want to speak with you soon. better off choking to death on that rock. Cox should consider himself lucky. Our brig is a luxury hotel compared to this. Seems like overkill to me. Hey. Over here. I wonder what her story is. Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home.
commute a drummer? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Julie Mao. Anderson Doss has a message for you. Please, shut up! Uh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes? It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off the ship. Who are you? Just an inner who's very far from home. With a shitload of supplies, I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Hit me. Oh, Zabakawala! That should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire break. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. At least I know what she's after, and how far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you, after you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but also, I think she sees something in you now, something she wants. Use it. Oh. Oh. Traitorous Pashangwala. <sighs> you gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Mana. Taki. Chamomile. Good for the throat. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. Now I goes with the stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. That's a joke. Hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. That's Torrance. We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Torrance. So, you're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. <laughs> Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Come in, a drummer. This is Arlan, captain of the Artemis. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. As you know, her body carries Anderson Dawes' bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. It was Drama and her little Martian girlfriend who decided to go after those coordinates. But Ratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. 
Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is, and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? They're scared shitless of you. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me, unless you already knew you could catch them. Mainsha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. <laughs> it is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes, betrayed by Cox, betrayed by your own crew, yet you still care. Did you love her? The little Martian? Her name was Maya. And yes, I did. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. We don't employ crew members here, we find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone, lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments. Same for me. Now we have purpose. And that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. But you are pirates. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brick to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Let's go. This might be my only shot. Toussaint. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? To win my freedom. I can help you disable the ship. And I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK Core. In return, you let me go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. Come. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? Depends who your gunner is. That used to be Yuri before you killed him. Now it's me. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. 
Battle stations. Drummer on guns. Be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. Torpedoes. We need to keep the PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. No, hold steady. I can get my shot off before we pass. If we pass, we'll be exposed to their guns. Hold speed. Torpedoes first, then take your shot. Come on, Khan. Don't miss now. is stable. Good. And did we get them? Drama! Look! Time to ready the breach pod. Updated as you clear each floor. Yes, Mama. Drummer, this is our first mission together. I hope it won't be our last. But if you step out of line once. Yes, I know. Bulletin head, brains <laughs> splattered, so on. Good luck. It's mine. Nah, throw it. See, Mama, she's a trusting person. Tough as iron, but big hearted. Me, though. Let's just say, not all those UNN soldiers were dead before their heads came off. Sasaki. Welcome back. And there we go. Episode four. That was intense. Well, it's, it's time for me to go edit and upload it. So, when you see it, well, I would have already done that. So, thanks, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that thing, you know. Subscribe and all that. If you like what I do, leave a comment. Let me know if I can do anything better. Anything, really. So, any, anyway, enough chit-chatting. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!